Hi, I'm Brian with Next Step Audio Enhancement. Welcome to the next in our Your New Home series. So today, we're going to talk about getting this TV off of this stand and up on that wall. So give me just one second. Let me get this big boy out of the way. And through the magic of video editing, I'll be back with you in just a second. So when I left this with you before, you may remember the tape going up and down side to side. We marked all the stud locations out on here. I had kind of a rough cut out of where the center speaker is going to go. I did not have the side speakers here and I did not have my pass through box here. We'll talk more about this box here in a second, but this gives a better representation of where everything's going to go on the wall. Remember we had all these extra studs here, so we couldn't go down any lower. So, We'll come back to this in just a minute. Next, let me show you what it is that you're going to need and how to set up to start this process. Okay, so what I've done here is I've set up our temporary work table. Go get one of these if you don't have it. Don't use your coffee table. You want something that's steady, that will carry the weight of what you're gonna be doing, okay? Um, you could pick them up at you know, big box stores, etc. They're cheap, they're inexpensive, they're easy to use, and they work great. Trust me, as soon as you get this thing in your garage, you're gonna find a thousand different uses for it. The second thing I wanna point out, look here. You see this here? This is a moving blanket. You can get these, I'm gonna plug here. You can go down to Harbor Freight, you could pick up a small one for five bucks. You could pick up this big one like this for 10 bucks. Do you really want to take the risk of hurting your television that you spent thousands of dollars on without protecting the surface you're gonna put it on? No, no, you don't. Go down to Harbor Freight, pick up a moving blanket if you don't have one. Don't use your blankets from your bed. Don't use a tablecloth. You want something with padding in there that's going to cushion it because we're gonna put the television face down on this guy. And then with the tools. We're still gonna use our stud finder. Yes, we've got our studs mapped out here, but we don't know exactly where they're going to be when we put the bracket up there. You're gonna need your tape measure because you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you've got everything in place. You're gonna want your drill bits. You're gonna want your screwdrivers for mounting the brackets to the back of the TV. You're gonna want levels. Now, I use this guy here. I've got a bigger one in my truck, and I also use this one a lot. This one is cool because it's got a magnet on the bottom here but it's also small enough to where I can use it one-handed while I'm moving things around to make sure that everything is level on the wall. Level is good, okay? Don't put your television up on the wall, crooked. You may not think it makes a difference. You will notice it every single time you look at that TV and you get your OCD brother-in-law over here, they're gonna call you out on it. So use your levels, make sure you've got good ones. Again, you could pick these up for cheap at your home improvement stores, right? They're, they're out there. Use it. We have our drill for drilling into the studs. We've got our sockets. We've got a ratchet and socket here. The socket that's missing from this guy right here is right here on our great big half inch drill. We'll talk about this again in just a second. Finally, we've got a little vacuum here. This guy here is worth its weight in gold. Shop back, if you got a bigger one, use the big one, that's fine. This is nice for us because it's portable, it's easy to use, works great. You're gonna want this when you're drilling into the wall. You're gonna want this for cleaning up after you're done. Also, you may or may not have noticed, normally we have an area carpet down here on the floor. That's been rolled up and moved off to the side. Sheetrock dust, carpets, sheetrock dust, rugs, not a good mix, right? That dust gets in there, it doesn't come back out. So make sure you've got a clean work area. If you don't have tile floor or hardwood floor like that underneath where you're working and it is you know, wall to wall carpet, get your drop cloth out, right? Get it down on there so that you're not getting that dust and debris down into that carpet because the sure as God made little green apples that ain't all coming back out again. Give me one more second, we'll clean all this up and I'll show you the things that we're gonna be putting up on the wall. What we have here is the mount that we're going to use and the pass-through box. Now, the pass-through box we're not gonna put in right now, and there's a couple of reasons for this. The first is we need to get our electrician in here to run the electrical for us and 
give us our outlet that is going to go right in here. But I wanted to point something out with this box. You'll notice that I've got it up here on the wall, right? Mapped out where I want to put it. It's between these two studs, but you'll also notice that it's kind of tight between these two studs. I'm not worried about it because this particular box, this little wing right here, as you tighten this screw down, will come in and grab the back of the sheetrock and push the back of the sheetrock against the front of the sheetrock here where this flange is, and that's what holds it in place with the sheetrock. There's four of these guys, two on the top, two on the bottom, right? Because top and bottom, we got room top and bottom. I just got to make sure that it's high enough to misses this, you know, stud going across here. We talked about that before. All right, so this may move up just a smidge. But this box is going to be hidden behind the television. We want it higher rather than lower because cables droop down. You don't want to have them drooping down beneath this nice new installation that you just put up on the wall, right? You want to be able to move the wires around and have them not show from any side top, bottom, etc. So this will end up going right here, okay? We use Sanus mounts. We're very, very happy with them. We also use Chief products. We make a point. We spend extra on the mounts. We always recommend our clients spend extra on the mounts. There's inexpensive ones out there. Guess what? You get what you pay for. What we really love about these guys is everything is in here that you need. It's got a great template for you. It's got great instructions, which we've read more times than I care to think about. We do still check them to make sure something hasn't changed. It has all of the brackets that you're going to need. It has all the different hardware for mounting the brackets to your television. You've got your anchor bolts here for anchoring them into the wall. Everything is included in this. But more importantly, we know the quality of this mount. When we get this sucker up on the wall, I can do chin-ups on this thing. It's not coming off the wall, all right? We know that when we get the television on this mount, it's not coming back down again. Spend extra, go out, get the good mounts. You won't be disappointed, right? There's plenty of videos out there of, of what happens when you don't get a good mount. And also, it's got these little molly things here. This is for going into masonry or concrete, okay? This is not for mounting to the sheetrock. Do not ever, ever, ever think an anchor on the sheetrock is going to hold your TV up. Again, there's videos, there's photos out there online. Go look and see what happens when you mount a television just using anchors in the sheetrock. True story, we were actually out of clients that asked us to come out and do some rewiring for their system. The television was already mounted to the wall. It was a full motion mount. We pulled it out so that we could work behind it and everything like that. As we're working with the wiring, the television fell on top of us. We weren't hurt, but the reality is, is that the idiot who mounted it thought anchors in the wall and the, the sheetrock was good enough. It wasn't. It held up to that point, but as soon as we moved it out to move it around and everything, that was all it took. That television came down on top of us. We had to stop what we were doing, remount the television into the studs, right? Into the studs so that it wouldn't fall off the wall again. Then we were able to finish the job. Luckily, the owner was there. We were able to call him out. We were able to show him what happened there. He kind of gave us a, what the heck? Kind of like what we, our, our response was. And approve the extra work that it was going to take to fix that. We fixed it right. No more problems. Make sure you're getting your studs, right? If you've got metal stud construction, as some commercials are, don't use the lags. Go the extra step. Get the toggles so that you're going in. Got the toggle back there and everything is tight. Again, if you can't do a pull up on this mount once it's up on the wall, it ain't strong enough. So make sure you're mounting it correctly to the wall. Let me get this stuff cleared off. We'll get the TV on here. We'll show you what's next. Okay, so we've gotten the television off of its old home mount rack there, right? The little stand. And we've got it here on our table. Now, I want to point out, this is an LG television. This is an OLED. See how thin this is? This is basically one sheet of glass thickness here. When we move this, we're careful to put our hands here and here, where we've got the extra backing behind this one sheet of glass. Don't grab it here at the corner. I know it's more natural, you think, high and low, right? 
As soon as you put it down here, that glass starts to bend. It starts to bend this way. That's not good. You can break these and when it goes, it's going to shatter, okay? So be very careful where you put your hands on your television. Don't worry, we can, uh, you can wipe the fingerprints off later, okay? Make sure you're holding it in the right spot. Also, get a friend to help you. Get your significant other in here. They don't weigh a whole lot. Call your neighbor over, bribe them with a the beer. I, you know, whatever you gotta do, two people, okay? Not one person, two people, right? One on each side. Pick it up, set it down. When we go to put it on the wall, again, two people, one on each side, get it up there. It's just that much easier and it's safer and you're not gonna destroy your television because yeah, we don't even wanna go there. Now, with regards to the mounts, got this one in here loosely. I'll show you why in a second. You wanna make sure that you have it in such a way that the brackets aren't sticking off the bottom there, sticking off the top to where you can see them, right? The whole reason we're putting up there is to make it look nice. And then you wanna make sure that you're using the same holes on both sides, right? So in this case, we're going one, two, three, four, the fifth hole, right, here. And then this is a sliding spot here, so it doesn't really matter here. However, once you get it in here, put it in loose and then make sure, see that little play we got there up and down? Yeah, you don't want that. So make sure the play, you push the brackets all the way up because the television is gonna be pushing down on this was on the wall, right? Push the bracket up, then tighten these down. Do that on both sides. That way you know that these brackets are dead level to one another on your horizontal plane with your television. Also, it's always best you want the mounts as flat to the back of the TV as you can. We're not using any standoffs, anything in between the mount and the TV. These hard points here are in the, in the back of the TV, but you want these brackets to contact as much of the back of the TV as possible so that it gives the support of this whole bracket on your television. Again, everything is about making sure your television is secure when it's sitting up there on the wall. You don't want it to come off there because one of these steps was skimped on. So I'm gonna finish getting this tightened up here and we'll show you the next step. So we've got our brackets mounted on here. We made sure that we've taken all the slop out of them so they're exactly the same on everything here. Then what we've done is we've taken our tape measure and we've measured from the edge of the slot here, right? The highest point where it's gonna to attach to the bracket and measure to the top of the TV. And it gives us uh, 14 and a half inches. And what we've done here on the wall is we've got our height here for the top of our te television, which we've marked previously. We measured down our 14 and a half inches, and this is where the top of the bracket is going to be. Now this is important to make sure that you get everything in the right height. Um, hang on, let me grab that bracket and I'll show you exactly how it goes on here. So this bracket is going to be up on the wall with the, you can see how the step is coming out here. This is what this is going to attach to, right? And this bracket corresponds magically to the template that we have up on the wall here. So we know that this top edge here is going to go into this slot here and we want this distance from here to there to be right here so that we have the television where we want it on the wall. Make sense? This guy will slide right in here. Now, the other thing here that you may notice, this bracket template that I have up here is not exactly centered. Our center line's right here, right? We're off by a little bit. Did that on purpose so that we can actually get to these openings here in between here and mark on the wall the center of the studs back here that we're going to drill into. I'll show you how we do that right here on this one right now. So what we do, is once again, we take our stud finder, we put it in a void in the wall, not on the stud, push the button, and we slide over here until right there, we get the center of our stud, which I've got this in the wrong spot, so I'm gonna to need to move this bracket over. So we know that it's right here next to this. So we will mark it with our pencil. 
top and bottom, top and bottom, and right on the edge there. So we know that this spot right here is where we're going to want to go. Already marked it here, already marked it here, and here. So now what we need to do is just take this template off of here. We've got our spot to drill here, 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 and here. Once we get our holes drilled, then we put the actual bracket up there with the, with the molly bolts on it, and we can still move this back and forth. The key is that we're catching two studs here, right? That we're not just catching one. You want to have it go across two studs. We can adjust this back and forth because look, these brackets here that are on the TV, the, the brackets on the wall is going to come out to here, right? So we can move this back and forth to make sure that we get the television centered right on our center line here. That's where the tape measure is going to come in and play again. And we'll make sure that we have everything up there perfectly centered. The other thing that we did here is when we put this template up on here, we used our level, right? This took about 10 minutes of, you didn't see, making sure that this bubble is dead center between those two lines, right? There's actually a little gap on either side. Center bubble on your level. Make sure that this is level, because if it's not, you will see it. So we made sure that this was spot on level. We made sure that we were covering our two studs. We got it in the right height, according to our television. Next step, we just got to drill our holes and we'll start putting this up. Be right back. You can see I've got the bracket up here. I've got three of the bolts in here. You'll notice it's still loose. Remember I told you we could move it back and forth a little bit. We want to get close to the center line. They conveniently mark the center line here so we can get it in the right spot here. Last bolt going in. Now, what I like to do is I'll start it by hand, right? You get it in there, get it going. I'll use this guy to get it close and then come back and tighten everything up by hand, just like I mentioned before. So we'll just get this guy right up here. And just like that, get it in there close. Make sure we've got it on our center line where we want it there. And I'm not liking how that's not on there at the moment. Let's loosen this a little bit. Figure out why we're not moving with this guy in here. Ah, there we go. Get it up on there. All right, we're gonna tighten this baby down. Snug, and then we'll come back and tighten it up later. Snug. Snug it down. There we go. Now, this baby is never going to come off of this wall until I unbolt it. Next, all we need to do is we'll pick this guy up, put it on with these hooks right at where it goes, tighten everything up, make sure that it's centered, and we'll be back with you in just a second. Here we are back again. We've got the TV up here on the mount. You'll notice, check this out, center bubble. Did I say it was level? It's level, right? And you'll also notice that it is centered, right? We've got our handy dandy little tape measure out. We got 48 and about 3 eighths. And look at that. We got 24 inches and one quarter going right to this center line, which is still up on the wall. Haven't moved the tape, right? So you can still see it. So we got it here. We got it level. We got it centered. Next thing we're going to do, you see these little strappy jobbers here? This is so that you can pull this and release the mount and take it off the wall. But check it out, another feature of the Santa's mounts that we really like. These guys slide right up back here behind there. So guess what? You don't see them anymore. Right up here out of sight. Isn't that cool? And then, well, we'll talk about these wires in a future segment. So just stay tuned for that. We got it here. We got it all ready. You can see we've got the speakers ready to go. We got everything still laid out. Stay tuned for more. Now, if you've liked this video, hit the like button. After you hit the like button, hit that little bell there, the alert, that way when we post more of these, you'll get an alert. If you prefer, go to Facebook. We're on all the different socials. Like us there. You can always go to the source, nextstepaudioenhancement.com, nextstepae.com. Got a hamburger stack right up there in the upper right-hand corner. Click on it. We got our videos. We got articles, because guess what? A lot of what we talk about, we've got articles to go with. And then sit down and enjoy your new television that you've got mounted up to the wall. See you soon.